My name's Nick Bedeau, and I came here in 1977 to do a Year 12 course. They had phys ed course. I think when I was a, um, at school, at the previous school, I was I was able to do okay, but I was also probably I was in a bit of trouble. And the first day I came here, I, I remember a lot of other guys who were trying to become AFL footballers or league footballers or cricketers or runners or some other some other sport, and I just felt much more relaxed being around those kids those sort of guys and that probably helped me to be a bit better behaved and really focus on what I was doing and if I'd stayed at school I was out I probably would have struggled. People took you on face value whereas you had a reputation from the previous years. Um, the school I'd been to for five years previous, I mean I'd been suspended or been in trouble so the people at Box Hill were, were much more helpful to me and so I, I responded better. They took time to actually talk to you and, and try and fi find a way and, and support you and even if they if you had things that were wrong with you didn't focus on them challenged certain behaviors and um, gave you the support to try and improve on that I, pl I played football basketball and I ran as a kid you know of course I, I thought I was going to be an Olympic athlete when I was 16 17 I, I, I didn't have the ability I wasn't good enough in the end once I I knew I was going to um, compete in the, in the Olympics um, I, I was trying to find another way to be involved and I've been able to do that, and I've been involved as a journalist and as a, as a manager of athletes and as a coach of athletes. I met an athlete called Kathy Freeman, who I, I, I helped her get to the uh, Commonwealth Games in Auckland where she ran in the relay, and I helped set up her coaching and training program and following I was managing and organising lots of things for her. And by about 93, she was a world-class athlete, was ranked number eight in the world, and then 94, she... Uh, won a couple of gold medals at the Commonwealth Games and ran around with the Aborigine flag. So I was, I was involved in all that a bit. And so that made her very high profile and quite famous. And then the next year, she was fourth in a world championship. And the following year, she was second in the Olympics. And she was very famous by then. And I realised I, I couldn't continue to work at the newspaper and work with her because she was the, probably the biggest name in Australian sport by that stage with the Olympic Games coming up in in Sydney in four years' time. So at the end of 96, with the guy who's my accountant and a friend of mine who's no longer with us, Murray Plant, we set up a thing called Melbourne International Track Club, which which was to help athletes prepare for the Sydney Olympics on the way that I'd helped Cathy develop. And, and that had a lot of world-class athletes, uh, people who did very well in 96 and were a big part of the Australian team leading up to Sydney. That whole thing with Cathy Freeman, that was such a big thing in so many ways for Australian people and Aboriginal people. you just got to work out how to deal with people and um, read them and, and make good decisions for them and uh, help them just get a little bit better all the time in, in lots of different aspects. I hope that I leave a, a mark on the, the sport that I'm, I'm worked in that, that is still effective um, when I'm no longer around.